Hello folks, good guy Glenn, the Viking Realtor, and if you haven't figured it out yet, I'm in Las Vegas. And why am I in Las Vegas at the Venetian? I'm here for the Mike Ferry Superstar Retreat. For those of you who don't know, Mike Ferry is one of the original real estate coaches. The Mike Ferry coaching system has been around since 1975. I was blessed that when I came into this business, I came in under the tutelage of the Mike Ferry system. So right from Jump Street, I learned how to be a real estate agent from one of the best real estate coaches there is, Mike Ferry. So you might be saying, Glenn, what does it mean to be coached by one of the greatest real estate coaches in history. What is the difference between a coached real estate agent and someone who's not? Well, it's not easily answered. See, it's very easy to get a real estate license. It's very easy to join a brokerage. It's a numbers game. You pay your dues and you get to hang your license. What's not easy is to rise to the top. Some brokerages offer coaching. I'll be honest with you, I've seen the coaching material from a lot of these different brokerages, brokerages that preach about culture, and I'll be honest with you, most of it is copied from the Mike Ferry scripts and Mike Ferry system. It's a fact. Like all things, not all coached agents are good agents, and not all agents who aren't coached are bad agents. However, I've seen a lot of good agents who are very unprofessional, and that's a sad fact of life in this business. It just seems a lot easier to be very unprofessional than to be professional. An unprofessional agent will indeed make money, but when not coached properly, an unprofessional agent may do unprofessional things. Just like if you hire a carpenter or a plumber, they might make a lot of money, but they also might rip off a lot of their clients. It's the same scenario. Am I saying uncoached agents are all scam artists? No, absolutely not. I'm just saying that if you're going to be in this business, why not invest in your business? You're an independent contractor. You work for yourself. This is your business. This is how you're going to make money. Why wouldn't you just invest a little bit of your income in coaching if it could double, triple, or quadruple the business you're doing? I just don't understand. And that's why we are here at the Mike Ferry event. Now, recording at the event itself is strictly prohibited, so I won't be doing that this week. I'm here after the actual retreat is over for the day on Thursday just to do this video, just to give you a little background of what's going on, why I'm in Vegas this week, and just a little bit of why I think coaching and the Mike Ferry system is the best. It just is what it is. One of the key principles to being a coached agent is getting up every day and prospecting new business. And the majority of agents I know do not do this. They prospect in their own way. 
but to get up and make phone calls and talk to strangers every day to try to generate business is something that they won't do. What they love to do is tell their clients when they get close to exp expiring that when they expire, the bottom feeders are all gonna come out and start calling and trying to get their business. Let me give you a little clue, folks, if you're not a real estate agent. These are not the bottom feeders. These are the top percent of agents who are doing what they're supposed to be doing, and which is going out there, making phone calls, and making business happen. If your agent is just sitting back in the office waiting for you to call them or waiting for business to fall in their lap, is that who you want representing your property? Is that the person who's going to work hard for you when they can't even work hard for themselves? So don't be fooled. If you are on the market and you do expire for whatever reason in this hot market, the agents that are calling you on the phone are doing the right thing. And they are probably pretty good agents. I strongly recommend that when you do get these phone calls, you interview four of the best agents you speak to on the phone, at least four agents. See what's out there, see what their pitch is, see what they're going to do differently for you. And don't believe your agent when he tells you these people who are calling you are bottom feeders, they can't get business any other way. It's just not true. There's just no end to what I've learned from the Mike Ferry organization. Um, this is not endorsed by them. I'm just telling you my personal feelings on the matter. I came into this business. I was lucky enough to have a mentor who got me into the Mike Ferry system. And I've come to see Mike. I've come to these events. And I feel like it's benefited me tremendously as an agent. I feel like it's prepared me for this business better than agents who just get their license, join a brokerage, and figure it out. Some agents, it takes them years to figure out what I was lucky enough to have all condensed down and taught to me by a man who's got decades in the business, not only as a successful real estate agent, but as a successful real estate coach. And I know that this seems like I'm fanboying right now, but what I'm trying to do is express to you how important coaching is, how important it is to be a coached agent. And if you're a real estate agent, and I don't care if you're doing five houses a year or if you're doing 75 houses a year, if you could do more business, isn't that something you'd be interested in doing? Well, folks, that's gonna about wrap it up today here at the Venetian Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to hit the little bell if you want to get notifications when I come out with new videos. And once again, this is Good Guy Glenn, the Viking Realtor, coming to you from the Mike Ferry Superstar Retreat in Las Vegas, Nevada. Thanks for watching. Hello folks, good guy Glenn, the Viking Realtor, and today I'm here, nah, 